copy of my book. Okay, this Sandy is what happens for moms when my son free. edits my video. ChristyClover.com slash join. That's when I let you know when a podcast episode has released and, you know, when a new video is out, when a new blog post is out. Okay. what I'm doing and where it's coming out because sometimes I do guest posts and things like that. So <laughs> I would love to be connecting with you. Thanks, Grant. You're welcome. Hello, friends, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Christy Clover. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a homeschool mom of five. I'm going on my 10th year of homeschooling. Woohoo! And wanted to continue on in our How to Homeschool series. Now, many of you may or may not know that I have a blog called Raising Clovers and a podcast called The Simply Joyful Podcast. But did you also know I have a new book out? It's called Homeschool Basics. I wrote it with Trisha Goyer, and it is 35 years of homeschool experience in one little book. It's all about how to get started, keep motivated, and bring out the best in your kids. So, wanted to share you with you. It's here, finally here, so I'm super excited. So you can get it at Amazon. I'll put the links below. You can also get it at my store, which is just christyclover.com slash store. So be sure to check it out. And if you love it, which I hope you love it, we love it, <laughs> but I hope you leave a review as well. Now, one thing to note is I have a chapter in here that goes through a lot of different um, ideas for how to homeschool all different subjects kind of beyond curriculum. So looking at ways to introduce all different subjects very simply. So you don't have to buy curriculum for every single subject. You could supplement with some of the ideas in the book. So good thing to check out. So make sure you check this out. One more thing that I wanted to make sure I mentioned because it's still on sale. My ultimate homeschool organization course is still on sale. You can use Clover 10 as a coupon code to get an extra $10 off. But I mention that because we're going to be talking curriculum. We're going to be getting into a lot of the nitty gritty of different curriculums. Math curriculum today. We're going to be talking science curriculum and all kinds of different curriculum, language arts, everything, history. Curriculum costs money. And now we are also going to be talking about planners and you can plan out a beautiful homeschool year. But unless you have a game plan on how to implement it, it's one thing to have it written down on a piece of paper. It's another thing to implement it. And that is what my course is all about, helping you with strategic systems that are going to help you actually implement and plan out your entire year. So I hope you'll check out my course. Now, on to math. Okay. Before we jump into the curriculum part, I am going to work a little backwards. So first, we're going to talk about some ways to supplement in our math curriculum. So before I get going on anything, I want to make sure that you guys know that you can join me on right now. It's Facebook Live. I'm getting ready to start some YouTube Lives with some new software that's freaking me out a little bit. It's a little complicated, so I have not started with it yet. Right now, as I tested the new software, it ha it's off. I, I, I'm like Bruce Lee in a, in a movie. Like I'm talking, my mouth isn't moving, and then my mouth is moving and I'm not talking. So it's very strange. So before I get into all of that kind of stuff, I want to tell you I am on Facebook Live on Fridays at 12 noon and that specific time, and that is most Fridays, I should say. I really try to get on, but it's summer, and so we take breaks, and every once in a while we have appointments that pop up, but I do really try to be on there. So make sure you're following me over at Facebook, and you can get there by christyclover.com slash Facebook, and I would love for you to come over and join me for Homeschool Hacks. It's where I do some live homeschool Q&A, and we talk about all kinds of different questions that you have about curriculum, about homeschooling, just basic encouragement, really. But if you have been joining me on Facebook Live, you know Flashmaster is one of my very favorite ways to supplement in math. So make sure you check out the links below to get yourself a Flashmaster. I tell you it's worth every penny to actually use this baby because I think last when I got mine, they were $50. I don't know how much they are now, but it's basically an electronic flashcards. That's what it is. And so you can program it. So if we're working on, you know, math facts for the for number 10, you can do subtraction, you can do addition, you can do division, you can do multiplication, you can have it be random, you can time it, not time it. But anytime my kids are struggling with math. So when you have a child that's starting to push back with math, my rule is always slow down, stop where you're at. I don't care what the curriculum says. I don't care what's in your crate. I don't care what's on your planner. You have to stop and really 
take a step or two backwards and solidify some of those math facts. They have to be able to get their addition down really quickly, their subtraction down really quickly, and multiplication and division. And the more you don't really solidify those math facts in their brain, the more they might be pushing back with math. So if you have a struggling math student, I highly recommend taking a few weeks, even a month or two off and just drill math facts. And this is one of the ways that I have done that is with Flashmaster. So I hope you'll check it out and use my link below. You can also get it at christyclover.com slash Flashmaster because I can speak. But christyclover.com slash Flashmaster. I still can't. I can't even get it right there. But anyway, read below. That's where you go. And you can check out Flashmaster. So that is the first thing I wanted to make sure that I mentioned. And there's a couple other fun things I wanted to mention too. Okay, the next thing I promise we're gonna get into math curriculum is lace-ups. Have you seen these or wrap-ups? These are really fun. This one is addition. We have subtraction, multiplication, and division as well. It's a fun little way for kids to practice their math facts and to wind it up and to do it on their own. They can even grade it on the back themselves. They have show where the string should be falling. So I love finding fun ways for kids to just drill their math facts that are not boring. Like going like this. I mean, there's plenty of flashcards out there and there's good flashcards. There are great math apps as well. In fact, if you have any suggestions for math apps, leave them below in the comments. I would love to see what apps you use. Maybe on an iPad, you can make electronics work for you in your home school. So this is one of the things that I really enjoy our little wrap ups. Now, I am also a big believer in workbooks. Workbooks work for math. So you can use workbooks, but one fun little workbook that I wanted to show you is dice games. I love games for math. There are so many games that you can play for math. We love Skippo. There's all, I mean, I think I've talked about, I'm blanking right now, oh, Pegs in the Park. That's a really fun one that teaches little kids addition and subtraction. And just really, they're learning what the sign is. A plus sign, you're gonna move forward. A minus sign, you're gonna move backwards. But make math fun. You can do a lot. Like I said, in my new book, Homeschool Basics, it was right there before I moved it. <laughs> My new book, Homeschool Basics, I give a lot of tips and tricks about how to use everything. I mean, like cooking, right? Take your kids shopping, make them use money, things like that. But there are fun workbooks like this that you just get fun little dice, fun little workbook, and you're learning math. You can also, tossing things in my math bin, all kids love to do math and patterns and things like that with bears. So we have obviously accumulated quite a bit of gum, gum, <laughs> thinking gummy bears. <laughs> But we have accumulated quite a lot of bears, counting bears. And we get these fun little activity cards as well. So little activity cards, so sorry, I'll flip it around so you can read it. So then my little people start looking at big bears, little bears, different colors. But it's a great way to start some basics for your kindergartner when you're working with math facts. Okay, let's talk curriculum because I know that's what you really want. Everybody just wants to talk curriculum. Now, one thing to know. Your family is different than my family. Your family is different than other homeschool families. Your kids, one from the other, could be different. You could be using multiple math curriculum in your home, and that's okay. In fact, when I first started, one of my friends, uh, who was kind of one of my mentors when I was getting started, she used, are you ready for it? Four. Four different math curriculums in one year. Mmm, it's a lot of math curriculum. But she just was trying to find one that kind of fit with how her son could learn best. And so she actually went through four different math curriculum. And before you panic, I have used one, one math curriculum the entire time. And it's worked wonderfully with all my kids. So if you are not new to my channel, you know I am talking about Matthew C. So far, Matthew C has worked fabulously with all of my kids. So with Matthew C, there's a video that they watch with Mr. Demi. My kids love Mr. Demi. In fact, I had a chance to meet him at a homeschool convention and took a picture with him. And it was such a crack up because my kids were like, Whoa! Like, it's fun when your kids think that these, you know, homeschool curriculum folks are like celebrities. So it's super fun. But Matthew C has been great. So they have teacher's books, workbook pages, and the DVDs are just golden. I love them. And my kids can actually do math independently. Now, here's the thing. I do still have to grade their papers. So that's one reason why I also suggest teaching textbooks because this actually grades all your math as you do it. So I actually am trying out teaching textbooks this summer. So I will tell you in my homeschool reveal which one I'm going to be doing this year. But I tell you, you cannot go wrong with Matthew C or teaching textbooks. They're both 
fabulous. So make sure, I mean, there's, there's pros and cons to both. So make sure you try, you know, you look into both uh, curriculum. They're fabulous. But then there's also, cause I, it's not the only thing, right? Just because I, these are the, well, this is the one that I have the most experience with. I'm new to teaching textbooks, but here's the other thing. Are you ready? <laughs> Horizon math, Singapore math, Saxon math, all great math curriculums. So I get asked about those a lot and I'm not familiar with those, but I do know that a lot of private schools use all of these different ones. Becca has a math program. Everybody has math programs. So sometimes you really just kind of have to try it out. The reason we originally started with Math UC is because it's, I was really using it with, I have two, well, when I started homeschooling, I was homeschooling with my two boys and one is a very kinesthetic learner. He needed to touch and feel things in order to learn. So using all the manipulatives that come with Matthew C was amazing. It was exactly what we needed. And so that's why we went with Matthew C. But again, because my boys are getting so independent and working so fast and kind of, we've got quite a few kids in the mix. Again, five kids. And I spend a lot of time with my little kids. I really am looking for a math curriculum that might potentially grade itself. So that is one reason why I'm looking at teaching textbooks. And I, I have friends that like both. So we'll, I'll, I'll do it in the big homeschool reveal again my kids are going to be the one testing them out and seeing which one they want to do because they are big fans of math you see and i am very interested in having them try out teaching textbooks but you really can't go wrong the last thing that i wanted to show you guys is my little math bin this is where i keep all of my different math manipulatives other than my math you see ones which are actually you can see them right Right there, that's my Matthew C stuff. <laughs> but those are kept separately in their own bin. But this is for my little kids. Sometimes I just pull down the math bin, put out a blanket and let them go to town. A lot of the different manipulatives in here are from Saxon math. And I had a friend who was done with some of her Saxon, her young Saxon math and she gave me a big, huge, kit essentially of all the different things and I've just been adding to it through the years. So that's where I keep my bears. I keep my dice. I have a broken scale, but I do have a scale in here. I have clocks. I have rubber bands. I have all different things so you can put the bears on this. Um, but there's so many different things. So as I see fun different linky cubes and things like that, you can do these as manipulatives. I, believe it or not, I use these little links for sight words and teaching letters because when you have, I don't have a great example because I actually put, I'll talk about that in the language arts one. How about that? I'll explain that. I'll leave you hanging. <laughs> How in the world I use a math manipulative to teach language arts, but I'll show you that later. But that or there's those are just a few of the ways that I have been homeschooling with math. Now know this in my entire How to Homeschool series, I have a page just for this series. So go to christyclover.com slash how to homeschool and you'll see links to all the videos and all of the posts that are there. I also have a post to go with everything. So if you're thinking, I just, I don't have time to watch the entire video, which if you're at this point in the video, you've seen the whole video, but you can get all the links over there. You can see the pretty pictures of the products there as well that I've been using, but I hope that this has blessed you. If it has, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Would love to be connecting with you. You can also get a copy of my book, Sanity Savers for Moms for free. If you go to christyclover.com slash join, that's when I let you know if, when a podcast episode has released and you know, when a new video is out, when a new blog post is out, kind of what I'm doing and where it's coming out because sometimes I do guest posts and things like that. So I would love to be connecting with you. Hope again, this has blessed you and helped you figuring out math for your homeschool. So let me know if you have other questions below and if you have any tips or apps or things like that that you enjoy using in your math.